Today I'm going to talk about what an average work week looks like in the life of a strategy consultant. Welcome to another coffee break here on my channel Firm Learning. My name is Heinrich and on this channel I want to help you to become successful in the first years of your career. I worked as strategy consultant for the consulting firm McKinsey for about six years and as you can imagine I did lots of projects throughout that time. Today I'm talking about how a typical work week looked like and I have to say that this is a work week before the current health situation. So it reflects how a typical work week looked like up until about early this year and hopefully how it will look like soon again. So to walk you through a typical work week, I will now look down here on my screen where I prepared a schedule for you, a work schedule for you how this week looks like. Let's start with Monday. Monday is travel day. Usually you will fly in from your office location to the client on Monday. When exactly the flight goes depends a bit on the flight schedule but also your team preferences. I had studies, I had projects where I needed to take a 6 a.m. flight in the morning on Monday. That of course is quite brutal and can lead to you needing to wake up at 4 a.m. every Monday. I would say average is getting a flight around 7, 7.30 but then still this might require you to stand up quite early based on where you live. Then next once you are at the client it is quite common to do something like a check-in and a check out every day with your team. So here your team lead will come together with the whole team, sometimes all together, sometimes with everybody individually, and then talk to him what his priorities are for the day. And then also at the checkout at the end of the day, what the associates still have on their plate also to help them prioritize if he realizes that maybe one guy really has lots of stuff to do which maybe isn't even required on that specific evening. Then you will often have a weekly client check-in. So you will sit together with your main client, with your main contact person. You will look into the whole work week with them, set the priorities for the week and just align and do a quick check-in with them. Afterwards, if you have some time, you will meet for lunch. So if the client has a nice canteen, you will often sit together there with your team and just have some lunch lunch and then after that frequently you will sit together in interviews with clients so these can be all kinds of interview situations based on the type of projects that you do for instance maybe a finance guy from the client sent you some data end of last week and now you want to sit with them go over the data with them and ask some clarifying questions that you might have then you have a bit of spare time where you sit in the team room to get some work done until the checkout then after the checkout if it's a bit of a more slow day then often you can then join jointly with the team drive to your hotel and you might have a nice dinner in the hotel restaurant. And then after dinner, you go to your room and get some work done from your hotel room. And here now on this example day, you would be done at 10 a.m. with all your emails, with everything. This is then where you can really shut down your laptop. And being completely finished at 10 p.m. is probably one of the better days. 10 p.m. we would have considered a good day if you're completely done and finished on that day and can really now watch a movie or do something completely else after 10 p.m. Then for the rest of the week, you will often already have some things locked into your calendar. For instance, the daily check-ins and check-outs. This is something that you will usually do every single day. And then on Thursday and on Friday, you might do the checkout a bit earlier on Thursday to enable the team then to fly out back to their office location. And on Friday to enable the team to get out into the weekend maybe slightly earlier. When exactly the check-in is, so when you are in the team room, this often deviates a bit team by team. So usually what I've experienced is that around nine-ish you do the check-in, but then people already come into the team room around eight to eight thirty to already get some first work done and prepare the day a bit. Next, you might also have some internal calls already scheduled. So one thing that you will usually have once or twice every week is something called a team problem solving, where you sit together with the whole team. Often, also one of the partners is flying in, joining you for the day. Sometimes also only by telephone, and where you then discuss your progress with the partner. You discuss some challenges that you are facing, some things where you need his input on and try to solve certain problems that the client might be facing. Another thing that you will frequently do are so-called internal expert calls. So you will frequently look for experts in your own consulting organization. So these are often more senior consultants that have already worked on a specific topic several times in the past. And then you talk to them and you try to get their input on what their best practice is, what they believe how your client should solve certain problems. Then you will also have some other 
other pre-scheduled client meetings. So frequently you have a weekly draw fix with the whole client team where you sit together with the whole team discussing the progress and then often every second week or so you have the steering committee also called the steerco. And this is usually the most important meeting for you in the week because this is where you present your project progress to your project sponsor on the client side. And this is often a board member, at least one board member present, sometimes even the whole board or several board members present. And this is then really the peak of the whole work week, the key deliverable where you sit together with the clients and you show them what your results are at this point in time. Now this being clear, then on Tuesday, you come into the team room, you have the check-in, you conduct the Joe fix. For the Joe fix, you might have prepared a document last Monday night and then after the Joe fix, maybe you just meet with another person in the client organization to just discuss some data or some other questions that you might have. Then you have the team problem solving and here usually in such a week you will focus on the Steerco document. So focus on the document that you will present to the Steerco on Thursday. And then frequently now the partner will have some suggestions, some things he asks you to implement in the document and then he will ask you for a new meeting on Wednesday afternoon to discuss the things that you are now asked to do on the Steerco doc. Then afterwards what we at least at McKinsey always try to do is something called Sports Tuesday where you try just to block some time for the whole team to do some sports and often also we did some group activities. You of course what you do depends a bit also on your location what the possibilities are. So what we did for instance was renting a soccer place where we were playing some soccer as a team or doing some crossfit with a trainer or just some team running just whatever the team fancied. And then after a day like that everybody would just go to his room frequently and then just have dinner for for himself on the hotel room and then just some last work that everybody was doing for himself. Next Wednesday the same drill you get into the team room you do your check-in and then you might meet with your key project lead from the client side because often then the clients have a project lead as well for the project that you're working on and often in the steering committees you want actually the client to present the documents to not make it a consulting presentation but rather presentation that is really owned by the client as well. This of course requires that you align the whole presentation with the client and here you often run into situations where actually you as a team would like to put it in a certain way but for whatever reason the client wants to have things done a bit differently so then you sit together with him you discuss and then you do some changes on the document. Then you have the internal expert call and then have some time to get some more work done before you talk to your partner about the document. And how unfortunately what frequently happens is that maybe you as a team you believe that document is just perfect that you're completely done but then the partner looks at it and now he tells you that he has a completely different opinion that actually wants to do it a completely different way and now you're really faced in the situation that you actually need to send out the document on that evening so for the meeting next day but now you suddenly realize that shoot you really have lots of stuff to do and what you also maybe have seen that maybe on Tuesday and Wednesday there wasn't enough time to have a proper lunch people might have just done a quick working lunch or even skipped lunch entirely just to get the work done so here as well because now you realize that you have all this stuff to do you just do a very quick dinner in the team room maybe you order some pizza and then the whole team sits together in a crunch to really finish now the steel code dog based on all the inputs that you got both from your partner but also from the client in the morning and now this can then easily take you up until 1 a.m at night or sometimes even later so this doesn't happen every day but these days exist and unfortunately at least from my experience they exist a bit more often than you might have hoped for and then next day, even though you're already stressed and didn't have a lot of sleep, at least I often try to prioritize sports. So for me, it was important to always have at least two units of sports during the work week. So what I would often try is then just put in a little run at least in the morning, independent of how long I worked last night. Okay, that was just my commitment to keep me healthy. But then later we would go into the team room, get some last work done, check in. Then the steering committee took place. And here then often all the partners fly in, the board members fly in and for me it was always an atmosphere a bit like sitting in an exam right so you did all the study and then the big meeting is and then hopefully it went really well far better maybe even than you hope for and then everybody is happy and now that just imagine that this is what happened here as well then you maybe sit together have lunch the partner is there as well you can talk a bit with them then you maybe have another client discuss
discussion, then some more work, then check out, and then you call it a day. So it was a good successful work week because the steer call went well, everybody will be happy. And then you travel out, you fly out. When exactly you fly out also often a bit depends just on the habits of the team, but of course also your flight connections. So I'd say if a fly out around five or six, this would be rather early. If you fly out after eight, this would be rather late. So something in between is what we usually had. And often frequently you just book a flight, you have it on standby because you have flex tariffs. So you can all the time reschedule your flight, sometimes even after the flight has already departed. So you will often just lock in a flight, but then if there for whatever reason you need to take a later one, then you just call your travel team, you reschedule it, and then just take a later one. Then Thursday evening at home, usually there's not that much stuff that you still do. Usually you then after you arrive, maybe you just write some emails, but then can call it a day. And then on Friday, you either work from your home office or from the actual office. Here the culture might differ a bit in between the different MBB firms, what is expected, at least at McKinsey, was always completely fine to pretty much always work from the home office on Fridays if this is what you wanted to do. The only exception might have been if your project lead came from the same office where you are from, then he might ask you also to come in to sit with him on the Friday in the office. Then Friday often was a little bit slower. You did some work, but then often you also had some time to do admin tasks or participate in any other office activities. So this can be grabbing a coffee with some other colleagues, some other fun activities in the office, or often just doing your expenses on a Friday. Then again, usually between five to six, we had the checkout on Friday, and then often you were able really to leave the office at 6 p.m. and then call it a day and then start into the weekend. Now regarding the weekend, this was something I really enjoyed in consulting, especially if you compare it to investment banking. And this is that at least at McKinsey, there was a very strong culture that the weekend is free. You're really not expected to do any work on the weekend at all. There might be some specific instances where there's really a hard business need, where this is really required. And then yes, you will be asked to work on the weekend. And this is also expected from you. But this to me in my six years really only happened a couple of times. Most of the times I was really completely free and didn't do anything. What some people do like to do is that then on Sunday evening, they take some time to prepare a bit the week. But this was something most cases I rather did in the taxi Monday morning or maybe even in the plane. So this isn't really required if you don't want to do that. So that's it, guys. This is a typical work week. So probably just also to put this a bit in perspective, this is not one of the lighter weeks, but this is also not one of the hardest weeks that you can face, right? This is probably something in between and usually the weeks where you have steer calls. So the steer call weeks are a bit tougher because you're into lots of pressure of getting the document out and then often there are all these last minute changes and inputs. So in this context, I would consider it a representative week in MBB consulting. Hope that was clear. If you have any questions on that, please leave me a comment below in the comment section. I'm very happy to engage in a conversation with all of you about what I discussed today. If you took any value out of this video at all, please hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm and also subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification bell to stay up to date on my content. If you want to see even more from me, also follow me on my Instagram. My handle is firm learning and I also have a mailing list where I share even more content with you. You can find a sign up link to the mailing list in the video description below. Thank you for watching. I very much appreciate your time. My name is Heinrich from Firm Learning. I release new videos every Saturday. So I would love to see you again here on this channel next Saturday. And until then, have a good weekend. Cheers, guys.